This is amazing. Now we have Abacus AI Chat LLM. In this Chat LLM interface, we have multiple large language model which you can choose and then be able to ask questions. You'll be able to upload a PDF and ask questions based on that. As you can see here, you're able to invite your team members. You are able to integrate that with multiple services. You have multiple use cases and benefits for using this tool. For all these models, you're paying less than what you pay for ChatGPT, which is $10 per user. And first month, you're going to get it for free. I will put the link for this tool in the description below. Not only that, you are able to create custom ChatGPT that leverages both fine tuning and RAG. Fine tuning is teaching a large language model what to tell. RAG is nothing but providing the context to the large language model to respond to user's query. Both are really good on its own, but what if we can combine that together? That's where Chat LLM comes in. It is to get the best of both fine tuning and RAG techniques. In this, we are able to compare and pick the best large language model for your use case with auto eval. This is how you manually create your own custom LLM chatbot. So it contains three different steps. One is documents, management, then it's about the prompt, and finally we'll get the model. So in regards to documents, as soon as you upload a document, it will get divided to chunks, then it will be embedded into embeddings, finally it will get stored in the database. So step number two, when the user asks a question, based on the question, relevant information is pulled from the database, then that information is sent to the large language model. Here, we can choose any of the large language model of our choice. Then a response is getting generated here. Then that response is evaluated with various scores. Comparing those scores, we can choose the best model. So when you consider this whole pipeline, that is document ingestion, then the user asking a question, generating a response, and finally model evaluation. Doing all this manually is tedious. But what if you have a simple user interface which can handle all these steps? That's when you can see it's really beneficial for this chat LLM where you can, where you set up your data pipeline and upload data. Then step two, setting up feature groups. Step three, document retrievers, that is RAG. Step four, training your large language model, that is fine tuning. And then you can deploy that. Finally, you can chat with the deployed model and ask questions. And this is going to response based on the RAG and also fine tuning process. This is going to be much more accurate than doing individual fine tuning or individual RAG. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Abacus AI Chat LLM. In this first, we are going to go through the interface overview. Next, how to upload the data to the interface. Next, how to set up your RAG then how you can fine tune your data and then deploy it as a chat interface. Also, we'll be seeing how you can integrate that chatbot in your Slack, where you can use those models and ask questions. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Thanks to Abacus AI for sponsoring this video. So in regards to chat LLM for Teams, we have user management and collaboration we are able to chat with the docs, create custom bots, and connect with Teams or Slack. I'm going to show every single step on how to do it. Also, we are able to choose any of these large language models in our chatbot. So first, user management and collaboration. Here, if you see, you have an option to invite your team. So they can use the same chat model when you create one. Most likely, you'll have a chat model which is trained on your company data, and you don't want to give that to others. This will make that process much more easier. So anyone within the team can use the, your own trained model and then be able to ask questions based on that. By clicking invite team, you are able to invite users. Next, we'll see how to chat with the docs. So here I can choose the model which I like. In this case, I'm going to choose GPT-40. I'm uploading a document about AI advancements by clicking this icon. Then I'm going to ask a question. Give me AI advancements in 2024 and then click enter. Now this is retrieving as a RAG process and you can see all the list of information which got retrieved from the PDF which I've uploaded. And you can see the sources by clicking the sources button. And here is the PDF which I uploaded. Next, we are going to see how you can create a custom bot. In regards to custom bot, first we are going to see how you can upload data. Next, we are going to implement RAG. 
then we are going to fine tune the large language model and then deploy that. Once after you go to chat LLM admin panel, I will put all the information in the description below and the links. You have option to create a custom chatbot. So I'm going to click that. This page you can access by going to projects and then add new project. Then click continue. Going to give a project name, Mervin Prison Chatbot and click finish. Now step number two, it's asking me to create data sets. That's when you can upload data. So this includes two types of data. One is any PDF or text data for rack process. Second is fine tuning data, which should have question and answer columns. To start with, we have initial samples to try. I'm going to click this. Do you want to use sample data sets? Use sample. Now it's uploading my sample data set. You can see list of documents. This is for RAG evaluation. This is for fine tuning. And then click next step. In this page, you can see the step number one is complete. So after this step completes, the feature extraction will take place. Now you can see step two is complete. This is automatically done based on the uploaded document. The next step is RAG. So step number three is document retriever. That's where you integrate your RAG. So create document retriever. There you're providing the name, feature group. I'm going to choose game manuals. Those are the PDF files. Clicking that. And if you want to choose chunk size and other information, such as you can customize your text encoder, eFi, OpenAI, sentence bot. After choosing all those, just click create. In my case, I'm going to keep everything automatic and click create. Now, if I go to document retriever tab, you can see that it's indexing, which means it's dividing all those PDFs into small chunks, converting those to embeddings, saving that in the vector database and indexing it. Now the RAG process is complete. Next step is fine tuning, that is training the model. So click on train models, then provide a name for the model which we are going to create. We are providing the document. That document contains questions and answer columns. If you want to explore that data, you can even open this data sets. As soon as you click that, you'll have those two document types. One is PDF and another one question and answering. So we can even explore the data. So if I open the raw data, here you can see one column is answer and the next column is question. So in this way, we are able to fine tune the model based on your own company data. It's a small data set just for our testing purpose. So here we can see the question and answer data is provided and we have advanced options if you want to customize it further. Now I'm going to click train model. Now you can see it's training. Now the training is complete. You can retrain the model and also you can look into the metrics. So I'm going to click the metrics. You can see the metrics score here, 0.93 for the model which we trained. And you can see that data got trained on three different models. GPT-4, Abacus Giraffe, Abacus Mixtral. And based on the scores which you can see here, we are choosing one of the best model. We also can custom choose whatever model we prefer based on these scores. So coming back to the chatbot tab, there the next step is to deploy that application into a chatbot. So I'm going to click start deployment. There I'm going to choose offline batch plus real time and click next. Here giving a model, that's the latest model. Then providing the deployment name, Mervin Prison Chatbot and click deploy. Now you can see it's deploying. You can click that and check the status. You can see it's deploying. Yeah, deployment completed. Now at the top, I can go to the dashboard and click it. Then go to abacus.ai chat. Now I'm inside the chat interface, which is using our custom build model, which is capable of handling both fine tuning and rack process together. You can see how much simpler it is to integrate both with a no code solution. Now I'm going to ask a question. It is one from our training data. How to win a game of Munchkin? I'm asking it here and click enter. And you can see the response getting generated. And I can clearly see that this data is our trained data, which I can see here. This is exciting. And this simplifies the whole process of fine tuning and rag. You can use this model within your team and keep all your data private to your own team members in this platform. Next, finally, we're going to see how you can connect that to the Slack. So click the Slack icon at the bottom of the screen. Here you got various options. I'm going to click application connector. There you can click add new connector. From that list, I'm going to choose Slack. And you have all these options which can be integrated. 
For now, I'm going to click Slack. Then add to Slack. Give permission allow. Now, if you go to Slack, you'll see a message. Hello, Prison. Use help to know how to use me. So I'm going to type help. And here it's giving me more information. I can just type list to list all the models available. Then I can type this model name. That is the bot name and ask question. As simple as that. Now you are completely set up chat LLM with the RAG fine tuning and Slack integration. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.